today I'm going to show you how to set up a USB drive with multiple partitions having one NTFS uh, for use with all systems Windows and Linux and one Linux live CD installation partition so you see here that I've got a 64 gig SanDisk USB drive and um, yeah that's what I'm gonna put into two partitions okay so I'm gonna use boot ice okay so open up boot ice make sure that the destination disk is the correct USB drive um, in my case it's uh, Sandus Cruiser Glide 59.6 gigabyte G drive okay and click parts manage and you'll see that it shows the USB okay now you want to click on repartitioning and you'll see that some options come up we're interested in number four and from here and click OK and you'll get this window so my NTFS partition number one I want to be around 54 meg um, but you'll see that it evenly splits the total megs between four partitions but we don't want that so we'll zero out those two and I'll change this to about 54 gig an NTFS partition and then you'll see number four automatically changes to whatever's left. Um, but number four sh should be left at FAT32 actually. So the video doesn't show that, but that's what it should be. Okay now leave all the rest of these settings that's all fine and then click OK and are you sure da -da -da -da. click OK and then after a few seconds um, you'll get in the confirmation to say that it's been completed from here uh, we need to set the biggest one active or assign a drive letter just so that we can format it and get it ready to use. Um, now I usually don't use A and B drive just because so use the next one so in this case it's E and you'll see what will happen is once we click OK here Windows will recognize it. Now this was the second time I did it so it's already formatted but what you actually need to do is format it for Windows to recognize it the first time. So what we need to do to format is right click and format. Change that to NTFS if it's not and just quick format and click OK. After a few seconds it will complete and you'll have yourself a brand new uh, USB partition and TFS that will work on both Windows and Linux. Okay, so it should be almost done. See the bar up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we need to format the next partition to get it ready for Linux. So we'll go back into boot ice, the, that same window should be up. And we just click the other partition and click um, assign drive letter. And you'll see that computer picks it up straight away. And once again, I've already formatted it. Um, so that's why it's showing that it's active. But we'll format it, we'll call it Linux. Um, and we need it to be FAT32 and click OK and then yeah this one will be a bit quicker there we go um, and then that partition's all ready to install the Linux on it 
so this is where we'll use the uh, what is it Linux live CD creator so you just open this one up and you'll see you get this window up here uh, you want to make sure that you get the right partition so this one's E um, select which option you want here I have the ISO which is right there um, now the this here is to set like a partition that you can use under Linux and save settings for Linux um, the reason it's 4 gigs so um, I'll set that just because that way I can save settings and all that sort of stuff it won't work in Windows so Windows won't recognize it um, Windows only recognizes the first partition on a USB um, so yeah this takes a, a, a while um, so we'll just let it go and then we'll pop back once it's um, done oh the other settings here um, in number four you don't need any of those they're irrelevant so yeah all right just let this go on and we will be back okay so we're back um, it's almost done finishing the drive it's three steps um, the first one's preparing and then extracting the ISO and then it sets up the persistent drive so and then formats it actually so yeah this is almost done now I guess you're probably wondering why you would do this I find it handy to have a bootable Linux handy with me um, so this way it's on the USB that I can carry and still have you know a good chunk of the storage for the other things that I need so this says about 15 minutes but it yeah it doesn't take actually that long all up this whole process installing Linux took about 30 35 minutes um, so it does take a little while but um yeah okay and there we go it's all done okay so um, what we'll do is we'll just it shows in computer that it's empty but we'll close this off refresh this and there we go but I don't recommend opening that um, so we can close that off now this is the most important part of the model partitions um, part is because Windows only recognizes the first one and the second one's active in this program we want to set the first partition as um, act, well active as in assigning it a drive letter okay after that jump back into boot ice select the second partition and assign drive letter and that will set that as active um, and that's all done so now you can um, reboot and test out your live CD um, you can use this partition now as a normal drive and it will boot into Linux when you boot from USB